Right guys, and as promised, welcome to the review of the TNT Championship ringside exclusive Cody. And last week when I did that video uh, of those fix-ups and it was was it the base 119 late 85 Chase Alistair Black, I did say I would be bringing you a review of this Cody this week and here it is. Now you've probably seen uh, a bunch of reviews on this guy but I just want to give my own personal opinion on it because it is such a cool set and I just really want to make a video on this. And yeah, it's definitely a, definitely worth picking up just by looking at it. I mean, look at the packaging, everything like that. Uh, but yeah, we are going to review this and I cannot wait. Of course, Jazzwares have given us absolutely tons of Cody's since just a year ago. I think there's like, is there six altogether? There might be seven, I don't know. I've lost count to be honest. But yeah, I will not be complaining about any Cody's or how many Kenny Omega's, Young Bucks attires they make. Because there was once upon a time we didn't get any figures of those. So now I'll take as many different attires as I can get. Uh, especially, you know, with the pig fed and everything like that. And just for photos in general, they just look great and are great for the collection. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get this guy open. Uh, once we've looked at the packaging, and as you can see, man, they absolutely killed this. The only one issue I have with the packaging is Jazzwares, for some reason, don't put hooks on their exclusives. I have the same problem with the Blood Brothers set. It means I can't hang it up on the wall easily, uh, where, my, where my other AEW mock figures are displayed. So yeah, that is super annoying. That is very annoying, uh, so I'll have to try and find some way to hang this up on the wall, uh, because I did, in fact, buy two, and I have already opened the other one, so we will get into that in a moment. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to just see it in the packaging... Uh, I did grab this from Ringside Collectibles. Obviously, I am in the UK. I didn't get any custom fees or anything. I bought two. Uh, I think it was the cheapest FedEx option that I paid with. Uh, I've never had any custom fees issues with that. If I order a full set of AW or a big set like this, which costs more than a regular figure uh, or two even, uh, I think it's under a certain value. You don't get charged customs custom fees in the UK anymore. I don't know. It's very it's very risky, but I haven't had an issue yet. And there, uh, yeah, I definitely wanted to get one for the mock collection. Because, uh, you know, this is going to probably be super rare one day. And I just wanted to make sure I had it uh, while it was in stock. Because I did manage to pre-order this on pre-order 1. I think there are some damaged packaging ones in stock now. So if you guys don't have this, go grab a damaged packaging one. Especially if you're going to open it and don't need the box. Um, or you can pre-order one to have it in like perfect condition like this. And yeah, we have a great picture of Cody right there. And there has actually been three TNT Championship designs. So I'm hoping we get the updated one. Maybe with Brody Lee. Uh, maybe with Darby Allen. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm hoping for in the future because I do think I like the updated gold and black version over this one. Uh, but you know this is great. Uh, anyway, it's just great to have a piece of history in figure form. And this is from Double or Nothing last year in his match against Lance Archer. I don't remember much about the match. I just remember a lot of people being annoyed that Cody won again. But you know what? He made that title prestigious for like weeks when he did all his open challenges. And then he got squashed by Brody Lee. Really need a Lance Archer in the future to go alongside this. Cannot wait for that. And it even looks like this thing comes with some fireworks. Uh, which I never actually took out of the box I opened. Uh, so that's interesting. But yeah, enough of the box. I think we've I think we've uh, drooled over this enough. Uh, let's go right into the figure here. And as you can see, this thing is an absolute beauty. And I'll do some comparisons with the other Cody's, but this one is definitely up there in my favourites. The attire is just so nice. Like, man. Guys, I'm spoiled for choice at which one I use at WrestleMania in his match against Tanahashi. Which one do I use? Do I use this one? I don't know. This one does have the neck tattoo for the first time, so that's kind of annoying that the other ones don't match. But I guess it just makes sense, you know, because he did get that tattoo around that time. Um, or was it before that? I don't even know. But yeah, it does come with the American Nightmare cloth shirt, looking great. Is that his dog's face? What's his dog called? I forget. Um, I don't know. And there we do have the TNT Championship looking beautiful. It is a bit big. Uh, a bit bigger than I'd like. But I think it still is pretty good. Um, yeah, the red strap definitely pops. Um, just like the Universal title, I guess. Uh, but I think this has a bit more design on the plates and everything, which makes it a bit better. Um, but I am glad they changed it to the one they have now. The new one does look a lot better than this. And here is the Cody. I did have this screaming head scan on. Like the angry, pissed off head scan. And yeah, this figure is just absolutely amazing. I'm glad I did this review. Because I haven't really had a chance to look at it properly. Um, I did post a few pictures on my Instagram story. Uh, so if you want to go follow me over there. At Balavigs underscore UK. I usually do things over there first before YouTube. Uh, unless it is a pick fed or something like that or a live unboxing 
I don't know, or just, or just, or I just want to unbox something on here before there. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and take off the shirt. Very nice shirt. And yeah, he does obviously have the updated skin tone compared to the Series 1 looking way better. And there is the tattoo. Doesn't look too bad in figure form, you know, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, but I don't know if I would have got it there. Uh, and then we do have Cody Archer on the back. Wow, that is awesome. Looks like a dog, and then Archer is a snake. I'm guessing that's accurate to when we had it. TNT Championship versus... It's so cool. But yeah, this attire is great. I don't know what the hell that is. Some logos, something like that, but man. Great figure. When I opened mine, the boots were a bit stiff, so I had to twist them really hard. And yeah, now I can move them all the way around. But damn, it, these figures are absolutely phenomenal, honestly. Like, you, you just can't beat this. Articulation detail. Obviously, they have some scaling issues and young issues now that it's like a. It's, the line's only been around a year, so you know there's going to be some quality control issues. But as far as this one goes, I think this is this is perfect. Honestly, probably the best exclusive uh, ringside have done for AEW. We do have that Jurassic Express one coming out. Um, is it end of the month? I think that two packs coming out, and then the Chase one with the the junk with junk with Luchasaurus on Jungle Boy's shoulders. Uh, the packaging variant coming out early June. Uh, so look for a review on that. And guys, my AW Wave 6, uh, or Wave 5, I mean, has actually shipped from ringside and should be here any day now. So look for reviews on that whole wave uh, if you want to see that. Uh, I may do a um, I may do a review on here and then on my Instagram live, I might unbox them all uh, like I do for most of the AW Waves. Uh, so you definitely don't want to miss that. But yeah, great figure. And he also does come with uh, a couple more head scans. Sorry guys, I'm really trying to learn the reviewing way. I'm probably doing a terrible job, uh, but let me know if you're enjoying it. And he does come with these other head scans, the one from Series 1, just repainted. And I think this one is actually from the Blood Brothers 2-pack, just repainted with no blood. And this one is, I know we got this one with the Wave 4. So yeah, all re-releases of head scans, but I'm not complaining. I think the head scans are all pretty decent. And I put my favourite one on. I do like this pissed off looking cody okay hello it's me from the future uh just giving a quick update on this video i kind of forgot to mention in the video when i was recording it a few days ago uh that the cody actually came with two fisted hands so yeah you can put these in any other figures i did put them in my omega in that omega versus ali match and yeah it was really nice to have actually some fisted hands uh for filming with but yeah that's all i wanted to add i just want to add this clip in here because i felt bad for forgetting to include it it was so stupid of me stupid stupid um but yeah, let's throw it back to uh, me in the past. Enjoy. But now I think it's time for some comparisons. So let's put this guy down over here. And first of all, let's grab the Wave 4, which I do really like. This is from Fighter Fest. And man, I just can't believe we actually have this many Coley's already, considering last year we didn't have any at this time. It's just absolutely mad. And yeah, it is great. So different shirts, different attires. You know, they could all be repaints, really, but I'm not complaining at all. Uh, so there's it next to the Wave 4. And here it is next to the Smiths uh, UK exclusive. So, you know, kind of silver, uh, but this is the full-on silver. And that matches, that attire is from Fighter Fest. I might have said that. And this this attire on the left is from his first match on AEW. Uh, I think it was against Sammy Guevara. And, yeah, the boots might have been a little bit different. I can't really remember. But, yeah, as you can see there, looking great. And I do have the Blood Brothers one and the Series 1 Chase, but they're in the box still. And, you know, I've kind of got the Blood Brothers one here, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, there's the Series 1 with the UK exclusive skin tone, torso swap. And yeah, man, these Cody's are just great. Hopefully this one's knees don't chip like this one. I think that was just a Series 1 issue. Uh, but, yeah, guys, you have to grab this Cody. Go over to Rick's side right now if you haven't ordered it. Check if there's a damaged packaging one you can pick up. And, you know, let's quickly see... What this Cody looks like next to Tanahashi, who will be facing at BFW WrestleMania. New Japan versus AEW, kind of, but, you know, it's BFW, so not really. Uh, but, you know, do get that feeling. And, yeah, they look great together. How could I forget? We have Brandy here. I've got to compare him with Brandy. And what does the TNT title look like on all these guys? Okay, that looks pretty cool. The red just pops so much. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. Should I bring the TNT Championship in a BFW? 
I don't know, I'm kind of happy with the belts I've got for now, but maybe one day there'll be a new championship or a belt switch around, who knows. Uh, but yeah guys, that is going to do it for this review, hopefully you enjoyed the review. Uh, as I say, I'm not really a professional reviewer, so I just gave my own thoughts and everything and just kind of went with it. Uh, but let me know if you want to see me review more sets like this in the future. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, we're on the road to 6,000 subscribers, absolutely crazy. I'm in progress of building the BFW WrestleMania 5 Arena, uh, it's currently under construction. So look for a video on that, maybe in a few weeks, um, or I might just leave it to a surprise till Mania, let me know what you'd want to see. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.